student or teacher. I was uh, labeled, I might add, mislabeled as being a teacher, more specific, a false teacher. I am not a teacher. I don't have any students. I am a student myself. Jesus is my only teacher. And Jesus, speaking in Matthew chapter 23, verse 10, says such that he is our only teacher. So when you make others your teacher, you will think and uh, say things like, my pastor says, my elder says, or whoever your favorite preacher is, you're going to say that he says this and that he says that. Now, for example, if your pastor preaches and teaches that you're going to heaven, then I'm going to say, well, my teacher says, that is namely Jesus Christ says in John chapter 3, verse 13, that you're not going to heaven, that no one is going to heaven, that the only one who has ascended into heaven was the one who came down from heaven. And none of us, that is human beings, come from heaven. We came up from the earth. So do you get what I'm saying here? Is that I don't have any humans as teachers. My teacher is Jesus Christ. And that's safe because if the countless number of individuals who claim they follow Christ and they worship God and they stand on the pulpit and they don't have to be on the pulpit. But if they teach things and say things that Jesus did not teach, then it is safe for a person to say, well, I hear you, but my teacher, Jesus Christ, teaches something different. You teach that one must become a Christian and get saved in order to go to heaven. So the assumption made by you is that if you become a Christian, then you're going to heaven. They may teach that one's punishment for sin is eternal torment in their fabricated and made up hell. Yet my teacher, that is Jesus Christ, teaches that death and hell are thrown into something, into the lake of fire. So here we see hell itself is thrown into something, the lake of fire. So what sin did death and hell itself commit? Death and hell are not even persons. But yet both of them, and this is according to Revelation chapter 20, verse 14, but death and hell are thrown into the lake of fire. So my teacher, Jesus Christ, teaches something different from you. So you see, I am not a teacher. I'm a student. The expression disciple means student. Thus, I am a disciple, student of Christ. To me, it's a very dangerous thing to align oneself with human beings as being their teachers. And again, according to what Jesus taught at Matthew chapter 23, verse 10, he is to be our teacher, our instructor, our leader. And of course, there will be those who will say, well, how else can I learn about Jesus if not for the Bible? Well, I will say to those persons, where is your faith? Jesus has ascended. He's not dead. He's living. He's alive. So where's your faith? Do you not believe in prayer? Ask and you will receive. Many today walk by sight and not by faith. They rely upon the things that they can see. Human beings standing in the pulpit, yelling and shouting and what they call preaching. A book that they can hold in their hands that they can see. Yet they do not rely upon that which is invisible. God's Holy Spirit is invisible. Jesus, now that he has ascended, is invisible. At John chapter 14, Jesus told his disciples that when he ascends, he's going to ask the Father to send them a helper, an advocate, the Holy Spirit, and that it would teach them. You see, that Holy Spirit is God's word. 
It is that very same word that went to effect when God said, let there be light. God's word is that powerful. One has been selected, chosen, and approved to be God's spokesman, God's word. Who? Jesus Christ. Thus, at Luke chapter 9, verse 35, God commands us to listen to his son because he is the only one that God has chosen, has approved to speak in his behalf. That is why Jesus and Jesus alone is the word of God. He is to be our teacher. So again, I'm not a teacher. I don't have any students. I have a teacher, Christ Jesus. How about you? This is R. Jerome Harris, the disciple. Thank you for listening.